Hello, in this video I'll tell you how to enable AMD FTPM on the Gigabyte B450 MDS 3H motherboard and I'll also talk about how to resolve the um, secure boot error and the CSM error. I guess most of you guys are here because you are facing that error. I don't even know if I'll get any views on this video or not. I'll just make it because I faced these error. So yeah, first off you have to restart your computer, your Windows computer and you'll have to keep on pressing the delete button to go to the BIOS of your Gigabyte motherboard. After you're in BIOS, you have to select the BIOS option and from there you have to disable CSM support. After that you have to go to secure boot and you can try to enable it. I guess most of you guys won't be able to enable it right off the bat but I'll tell you how to do it. You guys might face this error and after you face this error you just have to make sure the secure boot mode is on custom and then you'll have to go to key management and in key management you'll see platform key you'll have to just update platform key and after that you have to just save and exit you don't have to do anything more you can try to enable secure boot again but you might face this error now the CSM error thingy after that you just have to save and exit and you'll have to restart your device once again after this restart is done so like you have to restart your computer after this restart yep um, I won't crop any of the restart part or anything like that because I don't know how to edit videos and I'm just making this video to show you guys how to not face these errors or how to solve them right So after the restart is done, you have to like restart your PC again and do the delete continuously pressing delete thingy again to go to BIOS again. So I'll just do that. After you're in BIOS, you have to go to BIOS again and now you can try enabling secure boot and I, I'm sure that this will work now, right? After you have enabled secure boot, you have to go to peripherals, peripherals option um, and from there you have to enable AMD CPU T FTPM. This is how you enable FTPM on your AMD CPU. In with like a gigabyte motherboard after that you have to go to BIOS um, under that you have to go to secure boot then you have to go to key management and you have to delete the platform key with which you previously updated right after like, you have to press OK OK and after that you have to go to save and exit that's how you enable AMD FTPM I'll show you how to check if you have successfully enabled it or not after I restart my PC and I won't cut any of it like I won't crop any part of the video because I don't know how to crop the part and align the audio with it and this is the only video I'll make so I don't need any help either that's it's fine mm -hmm. So after your PC starts, um, the only thing you have to do is, I'll tell you after my PC starts, mm -hmm. you have to press the windows button and you have to search run and open the run application and there you have to type 
tpm.msc I'll, I'll say it again tpm.msc you'll see it on the screen anyway so yeah you have to type tpm.msc um, there it is then you have to press on ok and this is how you are able to see if you have successfully enabled tpm or not on your amd cpu that is uh, so as here you can see i have enabled TPM successfully and the specification version the TPM version is 2.0 I'll show you that as well um, here it is the TPM version is 2.0 yeah guys thanks for watching and bye bye